We all set to go. It's been a been some tough days around here for us in Fort Myers Police Department for the last several days. So um, probably go a little bit off script today. I hope you'll be patient with us because um, it's been pretty tough. So if I'm a little bit more snappier than than normal, a little more pensive, a little more upset, I apologize right now. But we felt it's important to get this press briefing, and it is a briefing, and let you know the latest of what we can talk about. This is still an active investigation. This is still an ongoing investigation. But I thought it's best to do two things here this afternoon. Number one, to give you the latest condition on our officer, and to give you a, uh, a little brief synopsis of what actually happened out there on Saturday evening. First of all, hopefully you can convey to everyone to give us their thoughts and prayers. His family and the Fort Myers Police Department family as he fights for his life. The latest update on his condition is is that he's critical but stable. Critical but stable. Also, I'm going to forward the uh, family's request that they have privacy as they attempt to deal with this tragic event. Ladies and gentlemen, don't call their cell phones. Don't bother them. They're going through enough now. Would you please do that? You all in the media, give them some privacy. This is very tough on them. They ask for privacy. Let's respect that. Let's respect their privacy. I'm asking you to do that. The suspect in this incident is identified as 29-year-old Wisner Desmarek. That's D-E-S-M-A-R-E-T. Wisner is W-I-S-N-E-R. He's a 29-year-old black male. Date of birth, October 10th, 1988. He suffers from a non-life-threatening injury as a result of the officer-involved shooting that happened on Saturday night. He was taken to Lee Memorial Hospital, and that's where he's at right now in custody. I would like to remind the folks in, in Fort Myers that there is no threat to the community in relation to this incident. I repeat, there is no threat to the community because of this incident. Mr. Wisner Desmarak is the only suspect in this case. We've got our guy. We've got our man. On Saturday evening, about 7.16 p.m., we received a 911 call from a citizen at 3915 NMLK, the Marathon Gas Station, who reported seeing a subject assault a group of young males and take a cell phone from their, video, from their vehicle. Responding officers made contact with the reporting person and then checked the area for a suspect who had fled prior to their arrival. At 7.19 p.m., responding officers made contact with the suspect who matched the description given by the witnesses at the gas station. Mr. Wisner Desmarack was confronted mid-block on Flint Drive between MLK Boulevard and Edison Avenue. The suspect, Wisner Desmarack, fled from our officers. And Officer Jobbers Miller was shot and injured while he was attempting to take Mr. Desmarack into custody after this brief foot chase. The suspect, Wismer Desmarack, continued to flee back to the original Marathon gas station where he was taken into custody during an officer-involved shooting outside the business by additional responding officers. The suspect, Wismer Desmarack, was positively identified 
by victims and witnesses. Mr. Wisner Desmarak is in custody and being guarded by law enforcement. Upon his release from the hospital, he will be charged with at least eight felonies. The most serious felony is attempted first degree murder, a first degree felony punishable by life in prison. We, the Fort Myers Police Department, is making an appeal to anyone who witnessed any portion of this incident on Saturday night, who may have captured any portion of the incident with a mobile device, to please come forward and speak with our investigators. We're additionally making an appeal to anyone who has had recent contact with our suspect, Wesner Desmarak, to please come forward and speak to our lead investigator. That investigator is De Detective Emily DeStefanis, and her number is 239-321-8011. That's 239-321-8011. Or if they prefer, call our main number at the department here, 239-321-8011. Seven seven zero zero. Members of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is conducting an investigation of the crime scene and the officer involved shooting. Our detectives at the Fort Myers Police Department is conducting an investigation of the criminal case against Mr. Wismer Desmarais. I want to personally thank all of the public service agencies that has been working with us throughout this entire incident and who assisted and expressed their support to include our law enforcement partners with the Lee County Sheriff's Office, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the Cape Coral Police Department, the Florida Highway Patrol, the good folks over there at Lee Memorial and their staff that's taking care of my officer, and the good folks over there at the Lee County EMS and their staff. It's been greatly appreciated. Once again, I'd like the folks of Fort Myers to give us their thoughts and prayers to go out to Officer Jobbers Miller and his family through this trying time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day. We have printouts of the suspect's picture. This is from the Sarasota Sheriff's Department website for those of you that may wish to look it up yourselves or if you'd like, I have printouts right now that I can give you. Thank you everyone for attending this today. We appreciate your time.